don't think you can, know you can. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Diamond Miner Ivans, and today we won't be mining for diamonds, we won't be mining for gold, but we will be digging up some ammonites. So come on, let's go. So at this location, it's a private property, which I have permission to look here, and the ammonites are awesome they get the size of your truck tire all the way down to the size of a, a baseball and we're going to be looking for those big ones here's a nice gravel bed i am in north texas and like they say everything is bigger in texas let's see if we can prove that theory Okay, so I've been walking not very far, maybe 50 yards from the uh, from where I've walked down from my truck, and I found my first ammonite. It's not the best one, but as you can see, it's got these nice spiral, and yeah, so we're definitely in the right spot. We're just gonna have to keep on looking, and I might get one the size of a tractor tire. Okay, I just walked like three steps from that one there that we just spotted. And just right over here, it's got a little bigger, but it's not a complete. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. I may have to take that one home anyways. Just give that to my mom, put that in the flower bed or something. Wow. Let's see if we can find a complete ammonite. That's going to be the goal for today. All right, I'll catch back with everybody in a few. Okay, once again, I didn't walk very far. Here's the one we just found and just straight. Oh, wow, here's one I, <laughs> oh, wow, there's like two. <clears throat> it's all fused together. That's a pretty neat one. Here's a chunk of one. But what I'm going for is this one here in the water almost. Eh, it's kind of rough as you can see we have a layer it looks like shell it's kind of like ladonia fossil park and above that we have a lot of fossils and just rocks coming out of this cliff where it's washed out over thousands of years and check out this one here look at that check out these ridges ridges or whatever you call that Let's see if we can get this thing out oh man it's just a it's just a piece of one but that's a good chunk isn't that cool man i'd love to find one like this complete that's the goal that's still something to take home put in a flower bed awesome all right Let's see what else we can find Okay, here's one <laughs> just a couple feet from that last one we just looked at it's probably not gonna be much no just uh it's all stuck into the uh, matrix or whatever yeah getting there all right I'm gonna keep on searching I'm gonna tackle this layer you can see the layer above the shell so that's gonna be our best bet is up on this higher spot. You can see right here, there's an imprint in the uh, shell. That's kind of cool. See that layer. You see all this layer up here, nothing but gravel.
crazy. Here's a small piece. Looks like it was sitting there. Sweet. Okay, check this one out. Oh man. Darn. It's a nice half of one. What else we got over here? Oh, what's this up here? see the edge of it oh wow okay I think I'll take that one home nothing on this side but oh right beside it wow oh wow oh, man that was pretty cool still not exactly what I'm looking for but this is pretty close to it I might be able to knock that off but with that crack going straight through it'll probably bust it in half so we won't do that all right i'm going to keep on searching for that complete ammonite This is kind of neat. It's got some shells embedded inside this. Cool. Looks like somebody got a really good one here. Wow, check out this one. That is massive. Come on, be something. Oh, wow be able to pick that off oh man that's pretty cool right there uh, there's something here it's like an imprint hmm cool I was just about to put the camera up and do some prospecting and check this out this is popping out of this shell oh I'm gonna need my rock bar for that one that might be a complete amethyst or uh, ammonite and then right over here that's just laying there which is broken and here's another good piece that's broken off oh, wow isn't that crazy? Let's go back over to that one. Wow, look at this. There's one in there. There's a small one here. That's kind of neat. This place is loaded with them, and I heard. If you can get up stream about 10 miles, they get so big, you can't even pick them up. And I noticed this here this is kind of strange. Check that out. What in the world? Huh. I don't know if it's like a, a plant or a fossilized something let me know what you think in the comments what this could be I have no idea okay I was over there where my backpack is on that um, flat area of the shell and I worked my way across this tree that got uh, yeah knocked down I think it's humongous and I came over here because of this one we got to get this out of here somehow without damaging it I didn't bring the right tools but I want to try my best to get this out
it's gonna break oh my gosh it didn't oh wow check that out awesome of course the back you can see here really good detail look at that line but yeah that's gonna be a good one I can't believe that come out all right let's go find some more That's where that big tree once was standing for probably a hundred years. And that's where it is now. Okay, I'm just standing here. I like to watch water. I just will look at it and it's really clear. And about where my finger is, there is a really nice complete ammonite. And I've got to get to it. I just don't know how. The thing I forgot once again were my boots. I don't know why I always forget my boots. So I may take the risk of getting wet. I can't jump, it's really slippery. That would be stupid. But there is a complete ammonite right there, my finger is. So I'm working on building a crossway, and that big chunk was sitting right here, and underneath it was a big ammonite so we're going to pull that back out of the water see what it looks like whoa ah. oh, man that thing is heavy plus there's water pushing it oh god this thing is huge ah. oh my gosh it's a complete ammonite oh and i just threw that in the water Oh my gosh, wow. My hammer's in the truck. Grr. A successful trip, I would say. That thing is huge. Look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than my head. And I got a big head. Okay, about all you can do if you don't have a hammer is hope for the best. Uh, get that thing somewhat how hey, you're gonna want to first we're gonna throw a big rock over here um i just need a rock okay that's step one and step two uh, that thing weighs at least 80 pounds so i'm gonna have to get some of that off uh, and I don't like this crack right here there's a crack but that crack will help I just don't want it to it may take a little bit off I couldn't ask for a better day I threw the rock on it one more time and as you can see it, it didn't even get this crack like I was seeing it completely broke it away let's go ahead and sh oh no the ins oh wow it's got a hole the only ammonite with a hole in the world there's the imprint now let's see if it's a full ammonite oh it's looking good oh wow it's a complete ammonite i would say a successful trip you know the, the center's gone but you know that's okay not bad for my first time ever to look for ammonites so I'm looking at this imprint and it's just amazing itself. It's got the little indentions where on the ammonite it's got those spikes. That thing is so cool. <sighs> Thought I'd let everybody see that. Okay, I'm going to continue trying to get across to get that complete ammonite. It's a lot smaller than the one I just found, but it's a complete ammonite. Hopefully I flip it over and it's, a, it's you know complete on the other side. So I'm going to work on getting a, a bridge made and I'll catch back with everybody later on. I think I've got my crossway built somewhat. I don't know. There's so much stuff over here still. I could probably spend all day. As you can see, I need to work on this one. 
try to get it out the other side could be perfect being underneath all this shell for so long so, alrighty that's where I'm at Whew. okay about five minutes of hammering with my shovel because I didn't bring my hammer it looks like it's popped it loose I've worked my way all the way around with the shovel breaking up the shell Ow, my knee. Mm. and it looks like it may come out of there oh yep oh wow check that out oh my gosh that is so awesome that is a good one whoa check that out let's wash it off in this water nice oily water since we're in texas about every property has leaking oil pumps oil wells all the storage tanks leak nobody keeps them maintained it's a joke so let's dip it in the oily water and check that out that is just this size a lot better because it's been preserved for you know millions of years all right let's see what else we can find i'm gonna head on across and go pick up that complete ammonite even if i get my feet wet it's worth it check out all that moss i think moss is really cool okay i made it across my bridge i got wet but that's okay it's just water and here we are let's see what the other side looks like oh not too good but you know what i would call that a complete a complete ammonite okay let's see what we can find over here on this side i will catch back with everybody later on so i came from that direction and i've been walking and i noticed a good one over here is shell just like i was working at but this is all dried up doesn't get much water unless it floods and look at here oh man oh darn not bad wish that would come out got a good crack though right there just one for the flower bed oh that jumped and here's a cricket got all kinds of stuff crawling around it's november 70 degrees in north texas what in the world and I won't get any closer, but that's a dead cow in the water. Gross. I think my trip's about done. <laughs> Ugh. Not much over here, but dead carcasses. Buh. Yeah, I think I'm going to head on back. There's one. A uh, piece of one. <sighs> Ugh, gross. So I'm walking back, and there's the one that's kind of broken. And check this one out. All right, good thing I came over here. Oh, yeah complete on both sides sweet not bad at all all right time to head on back to the truck okay i made it back to the other side and i got soaked i saw one right here it's so like tapped it with my shovel and it actually broke loose and the other side is pretty good oh, that's sweet you can see like 
little things right here like it's part of the organism or something some other type of fossils inside that awesome okay this trip is over so i made it back to the truck with a few i got several more that are uh, half and i think that'd be really neat to cut and they'll actually set up some are actually like this so i gotta go back down and these are my finds for the day i didn't get to look very long a couple hours this is my first time to ever look for ammonites and i guess i did pretty good at the focus that's not too bad kind of this is a really good one this one here was really fun god still can't believe that one see some stuff there they clean up it's got some moss growing on it this one right here I think it'd be neat to get that cut maybe get it cut right here all the way flat and you can stand them up and I can get rid of all that but here's some better ones right here that would be a good one to cut and it'll just you know stand up on the shelf or and we have a visitor I've never seen an ammonite. The wind's starting to pick up. I am soaked. Crossing the creek didn't go so well. Um, so I'm, my feet are soaked. It's starting to get really windy. Uh, the cloud are moving in. Uh, like this video, let's shoot for 100 likes. If we can get 100 likes, I will come back out here. I will see everybody on the next video. Thanks for watching.